All right, let's get started. We are focusing on hips today. From the ground up, lay down. You don't need any props today. From here, just slowly release your back, lower your shoulders, down your back, and lift your knees up. Good. Draw your knees in. From here, just take a few circles with your knees in opposition, moving your knees apart. Good. Then we'll get started on our first hip stretch into our seated figure four. Take your left ankle over your right thigh, flex your left foot. You can bend your right knee just like this, or if it feels nice, you can extend the leg. Just feel it out. Places to hold on to is your thigh or your shin. From here, lengthen the back of your neck. And then close the eyes, just relax. Take soothing breaths in as you pull and draw your leg closer to your chest. Really feeling this outer hip stretch. Just really feeling yourself sink into this stretch. Letting the nervous system calm down. Perhaps taking an ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Really important as you stretch. Very good. Slowly lift the legs up. Just flex and point your toes. And then we'll take the other side. Place your right ankle over your left thigh here. Flex your foot. Make sure that your head is on the floor for this stretch and your sacrum. So if it is causing you to lift one of those areas, please back off and you can move your feet further away, just like this. All right, good. Then feel it out, start to draw your leg closer as you find the stretch that you want or the sensation that you want. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head. Good. You can use this elbow as leverage to press your knee away. That'll deepen the sensation. Always make sure you're not moving through pain. You're only feeling good release in that muscle. Even as you're laying down, you can still engage your core in this one. Good. Take it to your maximum point here that you wish to feel. And very slowly release. Send the legs up. Take a happy baby just as a quick reset. Again, head and sacrum are down onto the mat for this one. If it means you're holding on with your feet down here and your knees a little bit further from your underarms, that's great. Or if it means you can point your feet up, that's good too. All right, good. Then we are going to get up, but for now, since we're already laying down, Cross your right knee over your left knee. All right, then take a hold of your calf, your ankle, or the outer toes for this nice hip stretch. It doesn't matter which knee is in front. Just remember it. That way we can switch. In our reclined or supine cow face pose. Very good. So try to bring your toes for the deeper sensation. Try to bring your toes back towards your head or towards the back wall where your head is facing. Once again, try to relax here. You want to have your sacrum down. So if that means you're holding on to your calves, just do that. And slowly lift the legs. Very good. Cross the other leg and Go back into the stretch, into our reclined cow face pose, holding on to your ankles, your calves, your shins, or for the kind of nice expression to where 
you're really getting into it, you hold on to the outer feet. But remember not to compromise just to get a grip. Breathing here, nice holds. Doing so good. All right, slowly lift. Good, oh, already feeling the release. Flex and point your toes. Before we get up, let's take a figure four here, arms out to a T, and then just allow your, your right foot to press onto the ground. This is getting the frontal part, kind of a little bit of the outside, just depends on how you're orienting your, your body or how far away your leg is but it gets into a different part. All right, slowly lift, and then figure four left side, and then let your foot go across your body, landing on the floor. Keep pressing your top or bottom thigh onto your ankle for leverage. So good, all right, lift it up. Take a few rocks, stand up. Then we are gonna do one quick chair pose just to get our balance in. And then from here, hands to heart space, lift up your left knee and go in for your figure four standing up. There's no prize if you're balancing here. So if you have something to hold on to, not the plant, <laughs> um, something more sturdy you can, like a furniture wall. You can bring your hands to your heart space. You can take the hands behind you or you can take them overhead for the most amount of balance. So good. And release. Other side, lift up, knee, cross, and sit. Unclench your left toes, find any arm variation, settle in, settle back, and down. So good. Really nice. All right, lift it up and release. Our last thing here for your, for your hips is we're gonna go into some cars or circles for your hip joint. So again, you can hold on to something, a wall, anything, lift up the knee and try to keep your body really stable as you find that circle Really feeling, and then go the other direction now. You're really supposed to find internal and external rotation here, but just move the joint around. And then when you bring yourself back up, hold on to the foot for that standing pigeon pose. Bonus option to go into a quick half lotus here. Nice, slowly release, other side. Lift, find your circles. Plants are right here doing yoga with us. <laughs> slowly. And it doesn't have to be perfect here. You're just trying to move. Circle the joint and then let's go other direction. Takes a lot of control to be able to move. Okay, then when you bring your foot up, try to hold on to the shin, standing pigeon pose. Lean back, stand up straight, and then go into your half lotus as a bonus. And then we'll finish up here sitting down our last thing into a quick seated pigeon pose. One side, or rather seated forward fold option for double pigeon. Just really quickly, I just offering that as an option. And then other side. 
And if you took a, a double pigeon on the other side, you can. All right, nice work. Hope you feel better in your hips and you feel that release. So try this after running, weightlifting, sitting, driving, pre on a flight, whatever, anything to help release your hips. And if you're still here listening to my voice, please fill out the um, Google form so I can hear from you how long you want the classes, what you want to see more of, um, so we can keep feeling better together. So see you next time.